Migrant crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border have been a hot topic for years now, and some states, like neighboring Texas, have taken matters into their own hands by building a wall along their southern border. But just this week, that wall has been extended to our new Mexican border. Spencer Schott has been looking into this controversial fence, and Spencer, many are asking if this move is even legal. Well, Julie, it's a complicated answer. Uh, KOB4 legal expert Joshua Kastenberg explains it all depends on what purpose this barrier will serve. This week, the Texas National Guard started to fortify the border between El Paso and New Mexico with 18 miles of concertina wire. The order comes directly from the Texas governor, Greg Abbott, who said on Twitter this week, our barriers around El Paso forced migrants crossing illegally to enter New Mexico. Then they entered El Paso from there. To end that, we are building a barrier on the New Mexico border. Governor Abbott, like every governor, has something known uh, as, as a police power, the states do, and that's the authority to um, enforce the the laws that are unique to to the states uh, in the, to the individual states, as, as well as perhaps safeguard the the health and security of of their state citizens and residents. While Governor Abbott has police power, the authority ends where it starts to impact one of two areas: federal functions or commerce in other states. And the one that should concern us the most in New Mexico is something known as the Dormant Commerce Clause. If either the design of this wall, its intended effect, or its unintended effects hampers the commerce of the state of New Mexico from entering into the stream of federal commerce. And what I mean by that is not just our goods and services, our agriculture, gas, oil, railroads, trucks, and the like, but also freedom of travel. If New Mexico wanted to stop the building of the border fence, a lawsuit would have to come from either the attorney general or the governor's office. When asked to comment on the construction of the border wall, a spokesperson from Michelle Lujan Grisham's office said in part, We encourage Governor Abbott to turn his attention away from the never-ending stream of political stunts and towards working in earnest for the people of the state he was elected to represent. But Kassenberg argues this is more than just a political stunt. It has everything to do with politics, but I think when we say that, we reduce the importance of the fact that in this act is a unique and very serious constitutional issue on state to state relations. Now, we're also hearing from our state's delegation in D.C. U.S. Representative Gabe Vasquez says his office is looking into ways to stop this fence from being constructed. In the U.S. states, it limits our rights as Americans by putting up this physical uh, dangerous concertina wire. Governor Abbott is impeding on citizens' rights to cross state lines in America. That is unconstitutional. Now, I also reached out to the city governments of El Paso and Sunland Park today. We did not hear back from either of them. All right, Spencer, thanks for the update. We'll see what happens.